Okay, I admit, I have never been a good guy before. No shaking. I want to live like that. I'm not going to say you're going to be a good guy. But you know, here I am, when you talk, I'm. But you heard him now. Elliot, huh? not be okay with me, that. The hawker. Should they play golf? A golf should they play there? I need to to me now. What's <laughs> Kids, 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 why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me so much? Hate? Yes. How? See, Kitty, it's the second time now I've told you that I hang out. And then you, you, you promised me, then you feel me as a trick. No, I didn't. Honestly, I, I didn't. But see, how, how am I even supposed to allow my mother to do all the household chores while I go somewhere with you that I don't it's even know? Your mother is not complaining. Not complaining. Besides, you and me, I'm safe. That's all you need to know. This is a safe place. Okay? What do you even want from me, Seth? See, I, see, I, I, I know that you have issues in school and you have sex with me right now. But see, I, I want us to be friends. Mm, no, but we're already friends. Yeah, okay, it's just my kind of friendship. You know? well, let's be, let's just not to join friendship. Let's be, let's be close. Um, please, please, please. I'm, 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 I'm too young for this. Like, I'm not ready. Please, please. Yes. Kids, 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 kids. What are you? You're young. You're not young now. Yes, but not everything. What's it going with this man's problem now? Why didn't he give you all the money? He said business is bad. Business never starts to be bad. By the time I go to that shop, eh? <laughs> oh, ah, that's true. Kate, I will not be around on Wednesday. Please, you will take charge. Okay, Mama. No problem. Don't worry, I'll arrange it. Okay. Question and He's beginning to behave like a politician. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. Would you respond to the question your sister threw on the table? Elliot. Son, you seem to be far away. I'm sorry that I just... Uh... I didn't sleep on last night. Do you guys expect from a girl like him? A small girl that is supposed to be in school. Hey, but, but the man, mm -hmm. you they call that girl a small girl? Mm -hmm. Ha! Mm -hmm. That girl is not in school. Or at home, maybe the mother with small, small domestics. 
Not going around the street pursuing men up and down looking for relationship. On a chamo. Eh? On a chamo. The truth be saying, you need to find a different teacher on this particular subject because you're being too feeble. You, you, yes, you now you're being too feeble. I say Ogun fire you I get. agree. You just they carry conscience on top of something where no matter. Guys, see, for my hood, I get one girl, eh? She's 14 years old. Read my lips. 14 years old. And guess what? This girl ran a threesome with guys, eh? We're fit to be porn stars. And guess what? She just down well. Bagam, bagam, no, bagam. Not my kids. See, see, see. You could just feel, say, you did plan a very rosy wedding with one tight virgin. You know, no, say, that girl, you don't chow only in that temple oh, before wow. we even get admission. Rupra. Now, what for you? See, 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 not my kids. I said, not my kids. See, kids, they want to look so kids still tight. Kids. I said, kids still tight. When I was yeah, down, the chapel of assumption. Get, get, go still do it. Try and see. When you enter, if you. I'm going to be right now, you fall inside the bar. Don't say we tell you. So now, you, 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 you understand? Anybody who wants four good boy now. What? What is that for now? What is that for now? I don't understand. I have four hands, boy. I struck on the four hands. Before hand. Before hand. Before hand. Before hand. See this man. If you don't do what, eh? I'm going to enter here again. I can't enter here again. I'm going to 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 enter here again.
You see, madam, that's why we human rights activists go all lengths to educate people on the risk of exposing their teenage daughters to street hockey. They become vulnerable to monsters like the ones that did this to your daughter. I'm sorry. I never knew to come to this. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. My organization will assist to take care of our medicals and We'll make sure this bastard's rot in jail as long as eternity remains. Oh, thank you so it's much. It's a promise. It's okay. Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate it. Just thank take you. very good care of her. I will. Really hear from me very soon. I will. Really. Okay. about having the security man. We am tired of these exercises. I'm tired of opening the gate every time. <laughs> ah, can I remind you, sweetheart? The last gate man we employed, we made a room with lots of money, so we don't need the security for now. My friend, go and open the gates. You two are talking. Go open the gates. They're opening the gates for me and tired of opening Small, the small periwinkle. Go, go open the gates. Open the gates. And irrespective of anything, she's right. I can't want to be living in a compound like this. No security, no gate man. It's not fair now. Oh, sweetheart. Gold is our security. I don't expect you to support her. Who's that? Who's gone now? Who's gone? Daddy, I don't know why this men are here. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. I am Inspector Mark. We are here in respect of. One Elliot Leonard. Elliot Leonard? Yes, sir. That's my son. Is there any problem? Good. Uh, no problem. Um, Elliot, what's the problem? I am afraid you have to follow us to the station. For what? For the alleged rape of one Miss Kate Morgan. You are advised to remain calm and follow us to the station. I am calm. You can't do anything. Okay? It's not me. Rape? It's not me. I don't know what that's going about. It should be somebody else. Maybe Elliot in the next compound. It's not me. Sergeant, sir, move him. Yes, sir. No. Don't touch me. Don't touch my son. Don't touch my son. Move. Don't touch me. Okay. Move. 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 Talk to him. I said I will beat police man. I will beat police man. I said I will beat him. If he touch me, if he touch me, I will beat him. Let me go on my own. Tell me, you will do no such thing. I will handle it. Don't touch me. I will beat you. I will handle it. I will handle it. I will handle it. You took a little part of me. One body, three soul. Charge number VHC. 2017C, 2009. State versus Elliot, Leonard, Brian Okori, and Raymond Upe. On the fourth day of July 2009, in Port Harcourt, did rape one Kate Robinson and thereby committed an offense. Punishable under Section 351 of the Criminal Code. My Lord, the defendants are present and the complainant is present too. Appearances? I'm Barrister Rita Green, standing in for the prosecuting counsel. I am Barrister David Johnson. I'm standing as the defending counsel. Now, Miss Kate Robinson, can you tell this honorable court your name, where you live, and who you live with? My name is Kate Robinson. Obina. <sighs> I live with my mother at number 16, Rupa Kurusi. Take a look at this gentleman. Can you recognize any of them? That one. Which one? The one with the bandage on his head. Tell this honorable court what happened. Okay. <laughs> 
that day on the 4th of July I missed the I don't know his name even skin guy called me and, and then he forced me into the toilet and covered my mouth <laughs> On me, and he finished. Two other men came inside, but they were wearing masks. I couldn't see their faces. My lord, that will be all for now. Mr. David, sir, I don't like the way this case is going. Calm down, sir. There's no cause for alarm. That I can assure you. Calm down? Do you expect me to calm down when my only son is about being convicted for one callous and shameless act? Sir, Elliot will not go to jail. Trust me on this. I'm giving my all in fighting this case. Listen, whatever you need, money, connection, please don't hesitate to call me. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I want to find out from you. Those guys in courts, did you recognize them as friends of Elliot? I don't know. All the time I see him, it's just the two of us. Okay. Before the incident, have the both of you been into any form of um, close or sexual relationship? God forbid. Never. Never. He, well, he, he has said he wanted us to be in a relationship like that, but I told him that I'm too young, I cannot do something like that. I told him. Good. Now, when next we get to court, do not, for whatever reason, agree that you guys are dating. Do you understand? Yes. That's fine. Uh, madam, I'll have to take my leave now. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Miss Kate, you made this honorable court believe that my client, Mr. Elliot Leonard, is responsible for the ugly incident that happened on the 4th of July, 2009. You also told this honorable court that you are not dating Mr. Elliot, but you've been seen on several occasions. Objection, my lord. Objection, my lord. Thank you, my lord. On the 4th of July, 2009, Mr. Elliot here, invited you to a place for a gift and you left without a thought of trust i i don't understand miss kate you don't love mr elliot neither do you trust him so why did you follow him on that fateful day before i leave this honorable court I would like Miss Kate here to tell this honorable court if Mr. Elliot Leonard has ever taken her out before and if he has ever promised to take her out before, what were the places he ever mentioned to her? My Lord, her silence goes a long way to explain what really went down on that particular day, irrespective of medical proof to show that there was an issue of rape. But the question is, who, where, and how? 
It's a lie. It's a lie. Mr. Elliot Nunyant, I understand how you feel right now, but justice must prevail. So I'm going to ask you for the very last time, who were your accomplices in that act of rape? Liar! At the conclusion of hearing, counsel on behalf of the parties file their respective final addresses, wherein counsel for prosecution raised sole issues, whether by the confessional statement of the first defendant, prosecution has proved its case is beyond reasonable doubt. On the other hand, Counsel for First Defendant also raised an issue whether from the circumstances of the case, prosecution has satisfactorily discharged the burden of proving the guilt of First Defendant. Counsel for Second and Third Defendants in the addresses raised an issue whether the identity of the Second and Third Defendants as part of the perpetrators of the crime alleged was proved beyond reasonable doubt. On this note, I resolve these issues in favor of the second and third defendants as prosecution witness failed to successfully unmask the other perpetrators of the alleged crime. Subsequently, I find the first defendant guilty as charged and I convict him accordingly to 14 years imprisonment with maximum level. I further resolve that Miss Kate Robinson will remain with Elliot's parents until she delivers and wins her baby. This is my judgment. You see, Elliot almost implicated us for this matter. We can't pass that, that, that bush here. Say, thank God, say, God vindicate us. Matter don't end. Ah, See, eh? She see me so, eh? I'll to get out tomorrow. Because I'm not ready to go home next tomorrow. Do you understand? Yeah, because you know, say we know what will happen tomorrow. We know what will happen next tomorrow. For next tomorrow, if you come out now and reverse the case, see, I will leave. And I will do the matter. You sure you understand? Exactly. Yeah, give me lights there. The light for the man. This is what you have.
I noticed you didn't like the food. Why did you test like that? What happened? Daddy, it's not Kate. One day Kate is going to burn down this house simply because she's trying to cook. I thought I have warned you before. Not to make her feel too important by dishing out such responsibilities to her. Well, that is the least of my worries now. What is the problem? The absence of my soul keeps my heart, keeps troubling my heart. Oh, Daddy, you have to watch it too. Don't forget your health condition. Hmm? I need to go arrest. You know you cannot be a part of this family. Sorry. You are not a part of us. Sorry, Sorry man. Every time you're cleaning, you don't even know what you're cleaning. Stay yeah, clean. Keep cleaning. Very strong anti They will help him recover the But please, he needs a large amount of rest. No response. Doctor, what did you say is the outcome of my husband's result? Well, surprisingly, nothing harmful was found. But I will advise you to carry out some more tests to be very sure. Listen. I need you to do whatever you can to get done with this test of a thing 
So we can actually know what the problem is. And madam, I'm on it. We'll find the cause and find them a way of solving it. But for now, I need to be on my way. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't tell me you still go out under this condition. What can I do, man? My mother is not feeling fine. So I decided to walk so I can raise money for her drugs. What about the family you're staying with? How are you coping with them? I'm managing her. Okay, don't worry. I will give you some money so you can take care of yourself. Is that okay? Thank you. to my dad. The last time I checked, you're not a doctor. I'm not, but I'm the one under pressure here. Brenda, everything is going to be fine. Everything is not okay. I need a child. You know what? Um, I don't think we should argue about this or fight. Everything will take us at the right time. I don't see any reason why you're putting yourself under pressure. I'll be in the power.
brain is going to be a very smart boy. His teacher said the exact same thing today in school. Oh, that's nice. Um, Kate, I want to see if I can get in the market. Mommy, you have to be very fast though, before they start looking for me. I know. I hope they are still not treating me like that. Mommy, go to the market. There is nothing anyone can do about it right now. Okay, no problem. I will soon be back. Honey, don't use that. Why? Use the horse blood instead. It will look good on the shirt. Oh, this looks nice now. I mean, silver. It goes with, see? It goes with the shirt. Okay. Before you decide, you know, I'll listen to you. This one, huh? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you come and do the work now. Today. Not to go and see grandma. Mm -hmm. Have you done your homework? Mm -hmm. No. And you want to go and see grandma? There's only one now. Go and do your homework. around. No, we had a presentation at my school yesterday and I was asked to speak about my father. Who is my father? I will slap you back into my way. What, 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 what does it mean? What's going on here? What are you doing here? Please don't be offended. Um, it, it's just that. It's not that what? Um, Brave, Brave asked to see his father and I didn't know what to do. Please. I, 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 are you I, mad? No. Are you mentally disturbed? Huh? 
do I look like him? Do I look like his father? Look, I, I want you. This is the last time I would see you anywhere near me again. I want you. Don't come anywhere near me or anything that belongs to me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now tell your mother I don't want to see you or her anywhere near me. Do you understand me? Man, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Are you mad? Stop, please. Don't talk. Don't talk. What the So you continue feeding me with your chronic lies and bullshit, right? But I was going to explain things to you. Ah, in my second word, I guess. I can't believe my husband has a son out of wedlock with miserable stories surrounding it and a betrothed wife living under the same roof. Don't touch me! So how are we going to sleep this night now? Believe me, I have carried out these exact same tests in hospitals across California. And the results are exactly the same. And what result did you get? The same thing you are telling me. <laughs> Mr. Brian, you're medically okay. There's nothing wrong with you. It's been seven years. Seven years and not a single girl has taken in for me. Not even for a second. Well, uh, if uh, all the medical statistics and analysis taken are proven that you're impotency free, then I suggest you start thinking outside the box. So, what are you suggesting? What do you have in mind? Brenda, what's the meaning of the text you sent to me? I'm 
glad it really came right on time. Brenda, I've told you that the, I'm not married to uh, Kate. And the shy does not belong to me. Well, it's rather too late because I'm leaving your life for good. And with or without the divorce paper, I'm leaving you. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I wish that I could actually go back. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but you you know it's it's good to be a child, but it's bad to remain a child. So <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You know, I had a quickening in my spirit. I mind about something. Um, okay. Uh, could it be what I'm thinking? What's on your mind? And body man. I've been wondering, man. Who wants to see us now? I mean, I mean, what's going on with us? I know that this is not ordinary. I mean, something is definitely wrong somewhere. Now I was thinking about the same thing last night. And someone's image flashed in my mind. Who could that be? Elliot.
What, what am I doing here? I was helping you back to your room. And then you forced your way into the boys' quarter. I didn't want to disturb you. Did, did, did we, um... um, I just wanted to be sure that you're fine. I'll go back to you. I don't, I don't know. Please, please, please stay. Besides what? I saw him this morning. He's fine. You did? Where, yeah, please? Tell me now! I think he slept at Kate's apartment. But I didn't tell you. Okay. Well, um, it's about the other time in your house. I just want you to know that I never intended to take advantage of you. And I'm sorry if, if I passed the wrong impression. I understand. Thank you. So, I've been thinking of ways to tell you and show you how much I love you. And uh, different things have crossed in my mind and I'm like, what's the best way to show her? I love her. <laughs> so, guess. I don't know how to guess, you know. Guess what I did. <laughs> Come on, try. No. I you close mean? your eyes. Oh. So yes, close your eyes and don't peep. Okay. Uh, is it closed? It's closed.
treated you the way I did. We shouldn't have treated you the way we did. I mean, you understand there is no how I could have liked someone who sent my brother to prison. But I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I've put the past behind me. All sin is forgiven. Honestly, I've moved on. I forgive you, your mother, everybody. I mean, your brother's love proved very strong. It helped see me through. Yes, and I want to use some perfume. <laughs> oh my god, I'm feeling so small right now. Oh, sugar boy, you know exactly what to get for me. Okay, let me open it. I don't know. What would you give me for this one? Oh, is that biscuit that I want? Oh, no, 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 I want uh, this one. I want 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 this one.
What the hell are you guys doing here? You need to talk. It's really important. You want to talk to me? Serious. You tell me. You two tell me. What is more serious than you guys abandoning me in court back then? Huh? I... What's what's going on? I mean, I don't understand. What, what's up, eh? bro? Don't think this the wrong way, but I'm here to take my son. What are you talking about, Brian? What evidence do you have to prove that Brave is your son? What nonsense are you talking about? Brave is nine years old, Abby. So, nine years ago. There was an incident that landed us in court, remember? Hey, Padma, wait, hold on. Padma, if you're saying that Brave is your son, then Brave could also be my son. Are you out of your mind? No, 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 hold on, Padma. Ah. You know, you think you're the only smart one here. I have always known that there is an ulterior motive to, to, to you. You wanted to come yeah, here. You're just a snitch. A wolf in sheep's clothing, that's exactly what you are. Two of you should carry your filthy mouths and get the hell out of my compound now. Get out of my compound now! Get out of my compound now! I was here two times. Elliot! Elliot, kill you dead! Elliot! Elliot, kill you dead! Get out of my compound! Get out! Get the hell out of my compound! I'll go! Get out! Get out! Delight. I swear to God. I swear if he tries anything for me, if he tries anything at all, I'll kill him. I'll murder him. Ah, Bobby, where you come down? See you. Okay, so you you you, you feel you're the only one suffering for childlessness, Abby? See, 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 we are all in this together, you hear me? You pay for this betrayal, I promise you. Go ahead, just yeah, go, just, mad. just go! If you don't want to carry me for your car, just walk on, see this man. I don't enter KTT. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! I swear to protect you and breathe with my last blood. I need to get to the hospital and Ah, are we going to be paid right price soon? 
Check it, the engine is very sound. The uh, okay, the thing is standing well. Check it, the engine is sound. The, 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 everything is okay. See this all this see, the uh, AC this cover no dig. Hey, okay. This car no dig current. Okay. You don't come up from market. What, what, what are you saying? Are you trying to call the car outdated? You know, say this car we don't need to see the tire. Wait, 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 wait. You don't buy cars. 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 You it's okay by you, but just think this is what they do. Okay, okay. Hey, you have to yo. think about it. Oh. Hey, yo. Are you really going to sell another property simply because you lost your job? Elliot! I'm talking to you. Elliot! I don't have plans to take this matter to court because I understand the value of our friendship and your current situation. I have an offer of 10 million naira for you. Just let me have brief because he is my son. I apologize for not showing up all these years. Think about what 10 million there can do for you right now. Don't tell me you're still thinking about this. My love, please don't do this now. Please. Oh, and that, that excuse of a human being. Come here, I never suggest anything like that to me. Oh, honey, please, I didn't mean to upset you. It's just. The situation of things. What situation? What situation is worse than seeing of a child? The money? No. Ah. Babes, we are going to have ours very soon. We are going to have our own child. You have to also consider the situation of your late father's company. It's currently being sold because of the huge debt it is incurred. Plus, you're out of a job. Maybe this is a means to an end. Registration four to five million naira plus maybe one point five million confirmation and accreditation nine hundred to one point five million naira. 
Brian is offering me 10 million Naira for Reeve, who practically isn't my son. What heart, what heart do I have to let that poor innocent boy go? God, I'm so confused. Brian, what are you doing here again? Please, let's not argue. Let's just talk. Talk. I thought I made it very clear to you the last time. Never to set your foot in my property again. I apologize for breaking the rules. But I have something really important to say. That is the gate over there. It's cramped out of my property. Elliot. I never come back again. Elliot! Please! Before you throw me out of your property, please listen to my offer. Let me raise it to 25 million. Please. 25 million. His name is Brave. That boy is not for sale. Now get out of my compound. Ellie! Look, I've had it with you. In fact, right now, the line has been drawn. Yes, I'll be seeing you. Hey, look what we have here. Hey, how was it today? Come here. Come um, over here, you beautiful. Daddy, okay? Mama brought us some snacks. Oh, hope you thought I thank you. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You thought I thank you. Okay. Daddy, what has your friend come back to take? Um, Who is that? we saw Brian on our way. Who is that man? My senses, my mind, know everything's going down. My pain is all that I'm having now. Okay, that's great. Are you going to call? Yes, I'll be coming. And I'll come with your mom. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> yeah. Come here. I I invited you so we can talk with you. Um, what is he doing here? Push you make me look like a fool, like I don't know what I am doing. I know what you are doing right now. Elliot, just what am I doing here with this idiot? Elliot, I invite This idiot is the reason why I went to prison in the first place. This idiot tried to buy my soul from me. This idiot. What am I doing here with this fool? Look, I know that this is a very hard decision and there's been a lot of things going on, but you have to understand that what is done is done. What is done is done. Is that all you have to say? Please, please. Please, please. 
actually thought you had something reasonable to say, but obviously yes. you're stupid as they yes. are. You you're mad. You. I thought you this. had a brain, but obviously no, you're no, no, stupid. No, you're no, mad. No, you're insane. No, no, you're coming here and saying that you have to me. You know the trauma I went through? Do you know what I went through? You did? You are telling me what is done is done? Are you okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is that all you have to say? Sit, mommy, sit. What is done is done. Is that how you apologize? Can you listen to your mother? What is done is done. Sorry. You have a right to get angry. And we are here they ought to just tell us we are sorry. Please forgive him. We know he has wronged you in no small measure. Anger won't solve this problem. All we are here to do is to appeal to your emotions. Beg you to forgive him and allow him to be a part of this boy's life. Sir, with all due respect, a father is one who empties himself of love and care into a child to ensure a proper upbringing. Not just one who donated a sperm. This man here has done that. He's been there for my son. And then this man just wants him to take my son away? Just like that? Just calm down. Can you calm down? Mommy, mommy, they are told you to let me go. Would you have let me go? Oh, no, 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 answer me. I don't understand. Okay, understand. Okay, understand. Okay, understand. Okay, understand. Okay, understand. We are not asking you to let your child go. Please forgive him. Forgive him. Please. In Africa, we have a community of fathers where men look out for children. And stand for them and play the father's role. You are still his mother. You are still his mother. Oh. Officer, how's the man over there? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait. What's it? What is this? Let go. Keep quiet. Mr. Man, you are under arrest. For what? For the rape of Mrs. Cage 10 years ago. Why? Oh. You have to remain silent. For whatever you say now will be used against you in the court of law. What evidence do you have? Shut up! Brian, don't act like you're the saint here because you're not. It is time for us to pay for the crime that we committed. Oh yeah, move it. Move it! Kate, I, I don't know if I can forgive myself for what I did to you. For the past 10 years, I have lived a miserable life. Words alone cannot express how deeply sorry I am. Words alone cannot express how deeply sorry I am, for what I did to you, I, I am deeply sorry, Kate. At least now I know how it feels to hurt someone. <sighs> My bad, Margaret. You're a good man with a good heart. I am sorry for what I did. I denied you back then. I am, I am deeply sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. All my life, I have never done anything right. Well, I just want to use this opportunity to make this one thing right. See, that's a D in the test. The, the, the test result, I am his biological father. What? That's, that's the what? result, but I am not worthy to be called a father. Excuse me, your son. It's true. Oh, Jesus.
Stand up. Move it. Move. Don't say you forgive me now. Huh? 